Well, it's been a while, and uh, here we are in Brookfield, Connecticut. And you might wonder why we are in Brookfield, Connecticut instead of Charlotte, North Carolina. It's very simple. We wanted to go where the friends are. We wanted to go where the family is. We miss the kids. And here it is, snowing. Here in January, that's not unusual. So. Um, it's been a while. It's been, I think the last vlog was um, Thanksgiving 2016 in Charlotte. And um, we're back now and I'm going to fill you in once we go inside and dry off. I'll fill you in on what we've been doing in this past year and a half. It's been interesting. Well, that was interesting. Here we are in a, um, here we are in a mess. We've been in the new home now for actually a month and a day. And I'm pleased to say there are no boxes left, but then again, stuff is missing, and we've just tried to reassemble the studio. The GoPro is missing. Um, a bunch of adapters are missing. I have no idea where they are. Uh, I just got... Let me close these. Excuse me. Just got the shelves up, and uh, here we are. So, so you're wondering, I think you're wondering, I hope you're wondering what happened to us in the last year and a half. Once we made the decision to move, that was, that was the easy decision. Uh, we told our kids and grandkids and we told our friends that we're coming back up north and they all thought we were nuts. Uh, the kids didn't, uh, but our friends did. They thought we were nuts. So we decided to do it. We put the house on the market. Uh, my broker Nina, who is also our neighbor in Charlotte, uh, helped us market the house. And I gotta tell you, I don't know what it is with Southern buyers. It was tough to find the right buyer. I mean, we didn't live in a dump. We lived in a, in a show house. I mean, it was a great house. And we bought it new. And here we are 13 years later trying to sell it. And these buyers, they're just out of their minds. They're looking for perfect. I had one guy actually measure. He measured every cabinet. Uh, your carpet needs updating. Your plants need updating. Your bedroom up updating too close to the neighbors, uh, your backyard's too small. Uh, what else did they say? Oh, you're too close to traffic. Um, kitchen needs updating, bathroom needs updating. The house was 13 years old and uh, really looked great. So I gotta tell you, well, a lot of stupid remarks and how do I know this? Well, of course I had security cameras throughout the house and I'm able to uh, tell what people are thinking. And then you read the comments. And some of the comments were really, really dumb. You want to take some of these people, you want to strangle them. And I don't know if it was them or the stupid brokers that were writing uh, the feedback on the house, but it wasn't fun. And we took it personally. I know Judy did. And, um, and then one day, after staging, lowering the price a couple of times, after one day, we actually got an offer. And we felt so good about that offer we didn't even wait for due diligence. We came down here to Connecticut, or up here to Connecticut, to uh, start looking for a house. We found a house. We even wrote a check, gave it to our broker and said, we'll let you know we're about to make a decision. And I get a phone call from Nina, our broker in Charlotte, saying that these people backed out of the deal. It was not a good night. We were supposed to go to a party, we went, delivered the wine, and then we said goodbye. We were depressed. We took Judy's car and we drove it that night. Came right back to Charlotte. I drove nonstop. Not a fun drive. So we decided to um, take the house off the market for a month, uh, rethink things, do some repairs, uh, stage the house. We put it on the market again at a good price. And finally, after putting it on the market, we sold it in two or three weeks. This time we waited for the due diligence period to be up. I wasn't making that mistake twice. And we were driving our broker, Laura, in Connecticut. I think we were driving her crazy. But um, we finally uh, drove up here, left Judy's car here, and spent the time with Laura. And we, uh, we still didn't find the house. So Judy and I flew back up, uh, flew down south, 
up, down. It's getting confusing. But we flew down south again. And finally, we saw a house that Judy really loved. It was this house. Came back on the market. Or it just hit the market. And we just felt it was going to go quickly. So we waited until... Uh, we waited till the closing of our house. We closed on the house, drove back up north. Um, Judy met me because she had to go to Minneapolis to uh, attend the funeral of her mom, who was 101 years old, a great life. So Judy's going through all these emotional uh, trials, but she got here. We saw the house with Laura. We loved the house. We put an offer in. Um, offer was accepted. And then we spent a month living in hotels. I got to tell you, that's not fun. Living in hotels is not fun. Maybe the first night, maybe the second night. So after two weeks in one hotel, we moved to another hotel. And by the way, these, these are nice hotels, but it does get old. Well, anyway, to make a long story even longer, we closed on this house. And when did we close on December 8th. And a uh, moving truck got here on the 15th. So we moved out of the hotel, came to the house, got everything in. And now uh, the boxes are gone. And uh, the garage is even usable. And now I'm getting the studio up and running. So we can go back to work and do some more shooting and editing for our clients. So that's the story. We're here. We're closer to our friends. It's just great when somebody wants to see us. We come over. They want to see us. They come over here. And it's really been great. So we're going to get back to you um, very shortly with our next vlog, we'll do some reviews. We're going to talk about some stuff on my mind, like Kickstarter campaigns and are they really worth it? And, uh, well, a lot of fun things coming up. So thanks so much for standing by and following us. And, and hopefully you'll have some nice comments for us. And uh, i got to go shovel the driveway. See you later.